grabbing an element with jQuery, uh, moving through its descendants, we can do that, great stuff, very useful. But sometimes you wanna go the other way around. What if you wanna go up the hill and you start by one of the elements in the inside and you wanna move up, up the chain? Um, well, jQuery allows you to do that as well. There are others and other set of methods that we can use for that. And in this lesson, we're going to cover that, that and those cases in particular. So now we're going to start in the element called cats, and we want to grab um, the parent of that element. So we want to grab that mammals um, element. Uh, so see how um, the, the cats um, container has an ID that says cat, so we can use that to move up. And also, um, the, the, one, the, the, um, the containers that represent a category, they have now another class called category. Um, so let's, um, let's get to coding, right? So we wanna grab the direct parent of, of the element with ID cat. Well, there's a helper method called parent, very straightforward. And that will give you the single element that's right up the chain. In this case, it will be mammals. Let's reload the page and see how you, that's what you're getting here. Um, the method parents allows you not just to get the, the parent itself, the, the, the one up the hill, but it gives you everything that's up the food chain. So it's going to give you mammals, it's going to give you animals, and it's not going to stop there. It's also it's also going to give you the body tag of the page and the HTML tag of the page. So it's going to take you all the way up. And let's just see how that would work. That's parent, console log, result. Now, see how this is taking you all the way to HTML. But you can also apply uh, CSS selectors here. So you could say that you only want the ones that are a category. And in that case, it's only going to retrieve um, mammals and animals. Once you have, uh, once you have found this, uh, for example, once you have found the parent, which would be mammals, if you used next, it would take you to reptiles. And then if you used children, it will give you all of these elements, and then you could grab the first one or the last one and then use next or previous. So keep in mind that this works in the exact same way as children or as a find. They're all, uh, they're all methods and then you can traverse afterwards and you can do a, a really long chain if you want. Um, now sometimes you're not, you might not be sure if the element you need, you know that it's an ascendant, you know that it's up the chain, but you don't know exactly where it is, and maybe you just want one. You, you, you want the one that's the closest to where you are. Uh, imagine you have a button and in a container, and you click the button, and you want the container to disappear, but you're not sure if the container is, is right, af right you know, above, or if there's and some other things in between, and then there's the, the kind of container that you're looking for. So there's another method for that, which is closest. So it'll give you the closest one element, the closest element that's up the hill, up the chain, that basically satisfy, satisfies the CSS selector that you give it. So in this case, um, if I want to find the, the closest um, category, in this case it would be mammals, I can use closest and then category. So in this particular case, it'll give you the same result as using parent, but imagine that you're not sure that it could be that there's you know other containers in between. Um, it's 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 handy in those cases. So um, DOM traversing, the main objective is to select one or many elements that, that for for some reason you need. Once you select them, that's up to you what you do with them. And there's so many things you can do. And keep in mind that these things are all chainable that you can have 10 of them, 20 of them. You probably won't, won't need, like there's probably something wrong if you're having way too many of them. Um, but um, it's also a more efficient way than using CSS selectors.